There we go. Now we're safe. Monsters can't jump over here, but it's not impenetrable. They'll easily be able to, like, bash their way through here if they really so wanted to. But all the holes on the outer perimeter has been closed. This is a temp job right now, so... It's gonna look ugly, I know. But I'll, I'll, I'll get it looking pretty in no time. Trust me. You can trust me on that. Get you. And this, I don't know why this bothers me so much, but I don't like there being holes nearby. Oh, you know what? I should make an, un you can make underground type of stuff too. Like, it's your imagination. You can do whatever. Oh my god, that's, yes. Oh, should I do it for the first one? That's going to be cool to do. I think, mm. <laughs> oh my god. You know what, when I get the mining tools, and I'm able to like start like going further into like harder material, let's do something like that. Let's make an underground area. Oh my, the ideas, they are swelling up right now. Oh, I'm starving. I mean, eat some of these. I did not even realize how low my hunger gauge have gotten from all the hard work we've been doing putting into this town. Alright, that should be good for a while. Now, to fill up... these holes. There we go. Oop. They don't want to fall in there. Alright, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more. Thankfully not too much. I just really want this hole out the way. Ooh, maybe I'll... Oh, <laughs> you know what? Let's get rid of these blocks here. I swear to God, people, if you stop jumping on my walls, walk on the ground like everyone else. No, oh, I don't want you here. I want you there. I don't want to close that off so she will stop walking through here. The only way into this part will be through here. blocks. They don't need to be here. These rocks are just going to be floating in the air just because I can't destroy them right now, so. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, never mind. I can get rid of these. I don't know why I keep forgetting that I can destroy these rocks with the open club. That's rather not. Alright, so this area is completely free and can be used for something later on. And, dude, you're just going to stand there right now until I get my stuff in order. Until I feel like helping you. Uh, let's get rid of these blocks because they are unnecessary. And, can I? Oh, I don't want to accidentally destroy her thing because I'm trying to get rid of all this empty space right here because someone can usually just hop here hop out and that'll be annoying I want them to use the door like a normal person speaking of which I don't like I don't, I don't like how this is just empty Put that there like this there we go. That way there's like a strong foundation around the door. I don't know why I feel the need to have it there, but it's there. Let's enjoy this rock. And let's get rid of these branches and rocks. There we go. Okay, I almost forgot I was doing this to fill up these holes.
There we go. There we go. Now it's nice and flat. Except for this weird elevation over here, but that doesn't matter. I'll work around that when I get more materials to build with. Alright, so I think... Mm, now we're ready to move on. Alright, dude, I forgot what your name was. Let's, wait, Rolo? See, by my bursty brows, this town is positively brimming with life. There's like two people here. Why, I do believe that the Catlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Catlin back to life. Oh, uh -huh. my mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Catlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down to my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere... Okay. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Tevin. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Never expected it to be like this. You're going to take my bed because it's the only one available, aren't you? Oh, you mother... Yeah, that's, an that's another thing people do. Like, if there's not enough beds for everyone, they'll just take whatever one's available. It doesn't matter if it's in someone else's house or whatnot. If it's there, it's up to free game. Honestly, I can probably put a bed inside here. It won't really lose its rating of being considered uh, a workshop, but... Uh... Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't need this wall here. It's weird, and I think that's the wall she was using to jump up on my walls anyway. See, I want that gone, so she so she can't jump up here anymore. Oh, she, she is building stuff. Alright, so what do you have for us to do? Tevin, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claim, but was it truly you who constructed these buildings? I only construct- well, I, I did make two buildings, now that I think about it. I was about to say, like, really one was already there, I just made one over there. Let's see, if that were true, it would mean that you had the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost so long ago. Could it be that you were the builder of whom the Catlin Chronicle speaks? The legendary- ah, the legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Ah, yes, Seven, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, was it not? Not really, just walked off to the side of it. Well, the Catlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. A most convenient con... Contri contrivance? Contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Oh great, you're going to force me. Tell my child, you need only lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountain, ah, mountains fast past this... The mountains fast by this place. Use the compass to find them that you might not lose your way. So that's our next thing. We have to make the chimera wing. And I feel good about the progress I made on the base so far. It's secure enough to where monsters won't needlessly, needlessly wander in. Uh, the holes have been filled in. The barrier has been in place, has been put in place, and there are no more holes in there. So it's like completely leveled. So I feel good about that now. So now let's go ahead and get some more feathers, so we can complete his quest. And oh. Uh, it looks better, but it, it can be better. This looks like awful right now. Right now we have it so there's only one way in, one way out. That way it's easy to keep track of security. Um, there's no materials over here I can really make use of. And I'm doing good on food right now. Oh, there goes another Chimera. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Let's go ahead and take out the club. 
There we go. Oh. Yeah, there we go. The jump and dodge strat. You missed. Ooh, I could collect more feathers. I don't need to, though. Why do I say feathers? I mean white petals. The feathers are what I'm actually trying to collect. And let's make myself a pathway up here. Oh. You want to come to me? It's so nice of you. Come down here. What are you doing? I got enough materials so I can actually build the Chimera Wing. But I do want to make a way all the way up here. So this material honestly would probably be pretty good for making the barrier for my town. I would rather have like the stone mace like yeah, the stone uh, brick type of material, but this stuff? Actually, no, I don't think I might be able to, like, collect these. I think when you break them, they, like, shatter like glass, so... I might not be able to... Well, yeah, no, I can't do anything against these, so... It would be a good building material. But, I do think they shatter when you decide to break them, so they might not work out. And... I have seven right now. I want to get enough so I can make two. And I think I, I still have like, I think two more, so honestly it should be fine with just these eight, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'll take out two more. Good, I can see them right now. Oh, even better, I can see three. P.O. Star Wars reference. Let me grab this one over here. That perception is not my friend. Oh, okay, I'm losing way too much health. I need to go and sleep soon. But it's fine, we got everything we need. So I should make my way back to... Base? Base is a white flag. Yeah, there it is. But, uh, this is back at the front on the other side. Maybe I should go about making multiple entrances? I think I would just rather just have the one, though. Go ahead and build the Chimera one. There we go. Oh, it only took three? No, it takes five to make them. Oh wow, okay, they made a lot more than I thought. No, I want to talk to you. Goddess above, this is a Chimera Wing, it's just as the Catelyn Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it, within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was stolen to, from us, uh, and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Afgard have waited for this day to come. The day that benevolent Rubis would send the builder to save us. Tevin, my child, you need only to touch the Chimera's file to know that you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you and even... Oh, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. If you should see anything that you've never seen before, be sure to collect it. Tevin, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Catelyn. And the secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to root. This place was once girdled. Is that the right word? I'll go with it. It was once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great, a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all the insides safe from harm. 
But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated and nothing remained to Catelyn but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Catelyn, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred, oh my ill, yeah, my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers in my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Tevin. And evil laughter. Even though he's not really an evil character, at least I don't think he was. I think he's just a regular old dude who just has like evil tendencies. Let's see, so now... Okay, I was about to say. I'm sure someone has something for me to do. What's up, Pippa? You know, Tavin, I've been so starving lately, I could eat my own head. All this building and vending is hungry work. So I've been thinking... If we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could build to cook this... To, to, to cook things on? If you do so, if you if you do think of anything, put it in the room with the chest so that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So yeah, make us a room to cook in. So you want me to make a kitchen? A cook fire. Let's see, building a room from the ground up. A room must have two block high walls, all surrounding a door and a light source to gather all the greens you need and try building one. So this time, it's like freestyle. So the kitchen, if we have the workshop right here, uh, I wouldn't mind the kitchen being like next door. It would definitely give me a use for this free space right here, because I don't really have anything planned for it. So... Sure, why not? Let's make this the kitchen. If I think there's anything better, I'll change it. So... Surrounded by blocks on all sides. Two blocks high. I need a door. And I need to make a chest. And a cook fire. Uh, so to make a cook fire, we need broken branches, five, three grassy leaves, and one bonfire. Go ahead and build one right now. And I will make another door. And another chest. Ooh, oh wait, no. The bon do. The cook fire should be the source of light, so I don't think I would need, um, I don't think I would need a cook fire to, like, be, I mean, another source of light to be considered the light source. This should work fine for it. That there. Oh, he even built stuff, too. Just there. Door here. Everything, okay. I don't think it doesn't count. I have to make another light source. Actually, I don't have to. I got like plenty of torches made already. Just need to grab one. I don't know why I went inside there. Like it's a universal thing. I need to come back to my chest over here. And I just need one. Uh, no, I'll organize my stuff in a minute. Let's put the torch in this corner over here. Is it because of the spot over there? Oh, that's exactly why. That little gap right there is causing it to not be considered two blocks high. There we go. And with that, we got a crude kitchen built. Since it's nighttime, they're not going to rush over here. <laughs> 